Welcome to the Swing Trading with Cycles channel. It is January 11th, 2023, and we are going to cover natural gas today. It's a Wednesday. It's the second trading week of 2023. And importantly, it's also the day before the first CPI print of 2023. Market is really has really been waiting for this. And in fact, just really quickly, you can see this is the futures. This is the daily chart of the futures. Or excuse me, not, not that chart. This. You can see this is what the futures have been doing for the last 12 days, essentially. Just chopping back and forth. Interestingly, we're trying to break out here a little bit, except this is really just an expansion of the range. That's just important to know about because, in general, CPI day is going to mean volatility, and natural gas is obviously going to be a part of that. Now, for natural gas, let's actually go to the Henry Hub futures. Okay, so... So the Henry Hub futures, let's look at the daily chart first. And if you're new to the channel, take a look for a pinned comment that's going to give you some background info, previous videos, understanding of cycle analysis, understanding how to identify swing highs and swing lows. Incredibly important. Swing low is how an uptrend begins. A swing high is how a downtrend begins. This, my friends, is a swing high. That's a swing high on day five. That's the cycles aspect of it. And... It looks like we are on day 24 right now. So another way of saying that is we rallied for five days and geez, we've been declining for 21 days. Now, the details are important because technically we did make a low on day 21 and we still haven't broken that low. And we're going to we're going to zoom in on the lower time frames. If you're not following on Twitter, definitely take a look for a link in the description. I'll also add it to the pinned comment. Because I've been I've been updating on that since you know last night since I posted the last video that we've essentially had a battle going on on the lower time frames. Now right now the down the downtrend is winning just right right this present moment we're recording at 10:23 a.m. But that could change once this is posted after it's posted. I would say this is consolidation. If you kind of look at it big picture, I'll remove that line. It'd be kind of annoying. Like this is just like a little bit of a consolidation box, right? Like, I'm, like when I say that, I mean specifically these one two three four candles right now strictly speaking very specific this candle is a, is the low so far right but we are obviously and that's what this line is here we're obviously well below the high of that candle so the swing low is not in place yet yet at the same time it hasn't technically completely failed <laughs> right so that's a real technicality right we're kind of you know we're in between uh, we're, 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 uh, well, to be clear, what we are is we're in the range of the candle that marks the low at this point, right? This candle here marks the low, and we're now inside that candle's range. We Again, we haven't broken the low, but we also haven't broken the high. Another way of saying we're not trending, right? We're consolidating. I say that all the time. Prices can only trend up, trend down, or consolidate. Right now, they are consolidating. And let's look at that in detail to understand what that like what will we need to see to, to understand that price is breaking out now high level we've got across this three you know three uh three spot eight three nine right we've got across that to make this low active again like that's how it works that's how price moves from an up downtrend to an uptrend right because this is a downtrend and we're trying to reverse that and move to an uptrend and so if you think about the cycles aspect of it, maybe this is going to hold as day 21, a day 21 low, or we're going to undercut this low and we get a low around day 24, maybe today or day 25, day 26. And we'll also look at UNG, which made a new low today. So it's interesting. Those ETFs tend to kind of front run the price a little bit. I think it's retail getting excited almost. And so we're probably going to get if we if if the 21st wasn't the daily cycle low we're probably going to get the daily cycle low soon so probably not a great time to press shorts but that doesn't mean we can't get another daily cycle advance that has a, a hot uh you know an early top and then we roll over again i talked about the idea that we could fall into that no man's land between sort of three dollars and 20 cents and around two dollars and 40 cents and so again thinking about the weekly chart we're just hanging by a thread here. I mean, look at this thing. That's the other side of this, though, is that this is so bare. Like, this is such a, a huge droop that you need it. Price needed to slow down in terms of its, like, descent, right? Like, 
it's just not the healthy, right? This isn't a healthy uptrend. It needs a lower high if it's going to go significantly lower, right? So that's the flip side of it that, yes, we may be forming a bottom, but also, yes, it may be a short-term bottom to drop us into another low. We're going to have to watch the price action. And, of course, the monthly charts. We're going to zoom in after. I just want to big picture this looks like a chart that's trying to droop down to around these levels and the reason that i say that is think about the fact how this was a, was a magnet this was your 360 level that we talked about all back in december when we were trading around six dollars because you you had this decline right and this is where the buyer stepped in right and or the dry the selling step uh sort of dried up a little bit or some combination of the two right but this is where you had an important reversal before so it makes sense that price is going to have a reaction there now it could just as easily accelerate to the downside and of course that's not what we've seen so far we, it, it, it's not over yet we could see that but that tells you it's an important kind of zone right in the same way that this zone that we chopped around in right so we topped here and then we chopped around for one month two months three months this look what an ugly month this was five months of chopping around you imagine this like this zone may get tested right like it looks like we're drooping there again maybe we get a little bit of a wick on this monthly candle on a lower wick because we get a little rally on the lower time frames because again we need a little bit of a retracement counter trend rally a lower high as it were right um, i mean looking at this monthly chart kind of shows you like wow massive downside so let's zoom in let's zoom in this is more of a intraday setup so this middle one here is your five minute chart right above it is the hourly and i tweeted about this that i'll zoom into the hourly we have a big candle on the hourly chart that is threatening the swing low on the eight hour chart so this is your this is your hourly chart and you can see these little candles little candles little candles then you have this nice big candle so that's also important the size of the candle really is it tells you the range and having having that kind of momentum especially on the lower time frames is important because it shows you the buying pressure to some degree right little candles tend to be part of a counter trend move right and so the, having this big candle was great we had this candle that tried to follow through failed this one kind of followed through a little bit but then there was hesitation and then notice this hourly candle takes out all of the gains from these three candles right and then actually also takes out that one too like that's important when and again i just talked about the size of the candles when you have huge red candles and not so big green candles that is telling you something right that's that's telling you where price is leaning and as we speak this candle on the hourly is making a lower low below this that those are the most important signals price can tell you folks making a lower low or making a higher high obviously making a lower low is bearish because that is what happens in downtrends and making a higher high is bullish because that's what happens in uptrends now how that works on the different time frames that's what you want to you want to sort of piece together right and so the low that is being threatened right now theoretically is this local low here so which wouldn't be quite that one, right? So that's your that's your bottom tick from a couple days ago. But before that, we've got to get through this low here, that kind of because you can see price cascaded, right? Pretty very very pretty clear downtrend, right? Made this move a little lower high, lower high, big lower high, and then ooh, didn't make a lower low. Consolidation and then uptrend not super healthy uptrend okay that's a little better and then wham takes out the lows now it could get saved right around here and then resume up but right now it, it would have, like the odds favor that we at least test this low and then you know obviously the the tell is going to be how we react once we get down there so that's our that's our hourly chart and we can see the eight hour chart i talked about we had a swing low in place right very clearly, this was a swing low at one point, this candle here, because we were above the high from that candle. We had consolidation, and then this candle tried to follow through. This was a green candle at one point earlier when we when I tweeted about it, I think. Uh, it was a, yeah, right, it, it was a green candle. Now, it's obviously not green anymore, and it actually just closed a couple of hours ago, and so we have a new eight-hour candle, 
And what is it doing again? It's making a lower low. Now, at the same time, this is all still just consolidation. I mean, you can almost kind of see this. I'll take that line off because, again, that's a little annoying. But, I mean, you can kind of see, you could call that a consolidation box, right? Like, between these two lines. And so, not you can't get too excited or too bearish at this point because it's still, like, like, these moves are not following through, right? Like, that's a move to the upside that didn't follow through, right? Like, these are moves to the downside that this move didn't follow through to the downside. We got consolidation and then a move up. So, we really need to break this low convincingly at this point. Um, but at the same time, I, I would say at best, this is a sort of wait and see. Um, so that's that's your eight hour chart. And if you look at the 15 minute, you can see it's trying to it's trying to form a little bottom here. This is this is trying to form a little 15 minute swing low. This candle closes in 12 minutes. And what it might do actually is make a bullish outside 15 minute candle. So if one were trading this like, you know, in it, this is how you'd be analyzing it, right? Your next move up needs to be above the high of this candle, which is at three spot 609, right? Which is like 20 ticks uh, above. And that would make this a bullish outside 15 minute candle, which then kind of opens you up to, you know, another, another one and another one and another one is what you're hoping for, right? And really... What you would want to see is a, is a big one, right? You want to see some big 15-minute candles, the same way we see a big red, big green 15-minute candle, excuse me, the same way you see this big red one, right? Again, this is that hourly, remember we talked about that hourly candle, right? This is a 15-minute version of that, right? Takes out all of these gains, just whoop, and one fell swoop. So really a nothing burger at this point until we see some real evidence of what it wants to do because right now it's just oscillating in a range. I mean, you can see on the 15 minute chart, this kind of ugly range now, like I don't want any part of this thing, right? Now, this extended the range. You could call this, you could say this was a fake breakout, a uh, false breakout. And oh, we're gonna go lower, but nope, no, we're not, right? Now we're on pace to make a bullish outside 15 minute candle, right? So just kind of annoying. No, There's no edge when you're inside this box. But what we do know is the cycle count, which again, isn't magical, but it does give you a sense of like, we're probably closer to making some kind of bottom, right? Um, even if we do get some kind of capitulation lower sort of first. And again, just kind of zooming out, you can kind of see this has been a pretty clean move down. And now we're just starting to sort of bump along, bump along some kind of bottom. Now, again, it could totally be that it sends us lower from here because this consolidation technically is a bear flag, right? Like this move down is the move down. Like if I'm just draw, if I just draw that out, like that, and then we are doing this, right? And you expect that, and then that, 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 strictly speaking, that's what the odds would tell you. But if this is a 70% chance, let's say you still have a 30% chance going to the other side. And this thing is a wild trader. So that's like zooming into like the micro, the innards of natural gas itself. Let's look at UNG. So UNG, as I said, let's look at the daily chart. It did make a lower low yesterday, although like, this is the low that natural gas kind of held and it made a lower low. Again, I think just enthusiasm. And right now it's just an inside day, right? Again, what does that mean? It's consolidation, folks. So the range from yesterday was $11.86 at the high and $11.29 at the low. So, you know, something like a 60 cent range, something in that neighborhood. And it looks like we actually did almost test the bottom. So like, again, there's no, there's no real edge here until um, one breaks out of that range. Um, let's see, what is that? What is the weekly starting to look like on this bad boy? So yeah, the weekly, right, the weekly, we're below last week's low. Again, this is on UNG. Now, we're not quite there for natural gas itself. Again, because I think you'll see, right, you see we're still above that low because we haven't broken that final tick low. But I think UNG is really probably more reflective of, uh, of retail. Um, and so it's the same kind of idea. We've got to break out. Let, well, I guess let's look at the, Let's look at maybe like the hourly chart for UNG if they're, yeah. Wow, look at this nasty mess of a chop zone. 
Let's go a little bit lower. Let's go to the 15 minute. Yeah, just a messy, messy chop zone. And so, I mean, really, it's your, it's that daily level. It's that, it's that, it's those daily levels. But you can kind of think of this kind of parallel channel, right? Around the high around 1169 or low around 1129. So you would expect once we once we come closer to 11.69, we take a trip lower, and we kind of bounce off the bottom. It's just going to be a question of how how much longer do we oscillate within here, right? Uh, let's take a look at Boyle in that same context. And of course, Boyle is and is going to be hit even harder because it's a leverage ETF, so it's making a lower low today for sure. Um, and let's look at the 15-minute chart. What are the levels? I mean, so notice right, like you can see the different trend for Boyle. Instead of staying inside that box, it's below it, right? You can kind of see that. So that's going to be important to kind of watch, right? So let's say a top end of around 11.94, bottom end around 11.22. And you can see we even kind of tried to bounce back above inside the box and we couldn't. And, and the box isn't anything. When I say a box, I'm just really saying a price range. That's all it is, right? It's a price range. Price tried to get back into that range. It could not, right? You can see this wick is telling you that it was not able to do that, right? Like it got rejected essentially. Um, so that is something I would, so <laughs> long story short, I would stay away from these two um, while this thing kind of resolves. And at the same time, something like cold is also not like a slam dunk. It's obviously higher now, which is awesome. But if you're actually putting in a little bit of a bottom, you could see a violent reversal. But I mean, this is a nice little daily chart though, I'd say. So I'll give it that. Let's look on the 15 minute. Let's see what it, what this thing is what this thing is doing. So this thing was in a little bit of a range that it's broken out of. That's nice, right? That's right. And we talked about this yesterday. This was, or, or I think we may have right. This is a high at $38.34. And so, oops, I will reverse that. And so by getting, so you can see we kind of oscillated inside this kind of range and even just kind of sort of stalled out here made a big move up failed and now i mean look at this is a this is a good pattern to kind of see notice this candle is really bearish upper wick and then this candle really bullish lower wick it's like they cancel each other out if you look at them as one candle this is just a bullish outside candle and it takes out all of this right that's the way they kind of think about it right because this closes green so this kind of takes like so that's kind of interesting, right? Like that, um, like like as as a pattern. Obviously, this is on the fifteen minute chart, but you'll this is something that you'll see on higher time frames like daily, which is obviously more meaningful when you see something like that. In fact, that's basically what the S and P or the you know the futures are doing on the daily right now. Um, so so that's the lay of the land for for natural gas. Let's look. Let's go back and look at that. Look at it one more time, because this thing is a wild trader. So has it changed? In the last five minutes while we were looking at the etfs okay so it's bouncing off the bottom right but wait did we make a new yeah so we so this what is our, so this is a local low at three dot three spot five eight two and we just got to three spot five four zero so we didn't quite get there okay so that's wait is that right wait that's a low at no, actually, that's a low at three spot four five four six, and then we and we just got to uh, three spot five four zero. So we did just break this this local low. That's important to know about, right? Because as we said, if we're gonna break, you know, this more important low, the one from that's from day twenty one, we obviously have to break that low first. Again, this is on a fifteen minute chart. Um, so yeah, things are happening fast, and you can see on the hourly chart the you know a bigger kind of wick i'll take off the lines so again nothing to get super excited about because you can know you notice it's reversing right it's not like we just melted through we buyers showed up or sellers dried up or however you want to kind of think about it um this thing still has more work to do in terms of consolidation but when it breaks mm, it's going to be interesting as we talked about that two dollar and forty cent level is definitely on the table and let's think about uh i guess let's close this out with thinking about upside right like if we look at if we think about a weekly chart like we could easily see a move to well we, we need to see a move to 440 and so from here that's a good bit of upside and we could see that in the burst of like two three four days right easily 
and then from there we need to get to 536 so you can easily see this thing up to five dollars in the span of a couple of days once this washout is over and again wait is it are we making new lows as as we speak i think we're making new lows as we speak that's uh isn't that momentous <laughs> yes we are there it is okay so yeah so this is i'll just go back to this chart here we'll go to the daily um okay well that's timely so yeah, so new low on day 24, the daily cycle decline continues. And as I've talked about in previous videos, you can see these cycles go, you know, sometimes 30 days, sometimes 33. So we could easily have another few day, more days, right? Like maybe it's a 30 day cycle. It doesn't have to be exactly, it, it doesn't have to be exactly one of these previous lengths by any means. It just gives you kind of a ballpark, which is why we knew a 21 day cycle is a little bit rarer. It, they, they usually are closer to the 30 day range. And so, again, if we, just as a reminder, of we, as we've done in past videos, a 30-day cycle would be a low around, you know, January 20th, right? So this is going to be an interesting one. We'll leave it at that, and I'll continue to do, give updates. Again, definitely follow on Twitter if you're not already, because I'll be able to give more timely updates there, because I'm not able to post, um, uh, you know, I'm obviously limited in the videos I can post. Uh, so thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed um, please do if you found value in this video definitely like thank you